Hi everyone, it's Mark here and welcome back to The Brick Life. I hope you've all had a good new year. This is my first video for 2022, so I thought I would start with the minifigures series 22 that came out for this year. Now we went to the Lego store on the 9th of January to purchase some of these and in the store themselves they've actually felt them out. So they've been touching and feeling the bags to look for specific pieces and um, to ensure that you do get all 12 of the figures. So I've got them all in here. Now they have said there isn't a 100% guarantee, um, but they have tried the best to make sure that these are all different characters. So I'm gonna open these all up for you today and hopefully we've got all of them. Let's get started. So with these minifigures, there are obviously 12 to collect. Um, they range from anything from a chili costume person to a space creature. So I am looking forward to seeing what's inside these. Um, now, with these, me and my partner bought them and he wants to open these as well. So what we've decided to do is for me to just snip the edges of the bags um, and then he's gonna actually open them all up later by just ripping them open. He wants to check what's inside them as well. Um, so let's have a look what we've got here. Um, so with that, I'm gonna say that we've got the um, musical guy. So he looks like an old fashioned um, music guy. So let's just get him built. Obviously you do get the instructions as well that come with just for the um, difficult minifigures that you're not sure how to put together. Let's open one of these up for you and give you guys a look at the, uh, the instructions. So that's all there. And then all the minifigures are on the back as well so you can tick them off as and when you collect them. So of course, as you can see that there's 12 minifigures on there. Um, now they all look really cool. I am looking forward to seeing the robot repair tech guy. So he's pretty cool, that top one there. Um, but let's get building on this one. So we've got a musician. His hat's really cool and it looks like his hat comes with a little feather in the top. And you do get a couple of spares with these, so I think that's always good. And there is my musician. So as you can see, he comes with his um, his little guitar, little instrument there. And he has got a couple of coins there, so obviously people have given money uh, for performing. I do like the feather in his hat as well, I think that's really cool. And his face piece is only printed on the front, so not on the back. So let's pop him to one side. So that's one figure down and let's move on to the next one. So this one is one that I was really looking forward to building. So this is the repair tech guy. Again, I get another instruction there, another uh, booklet, which I'm not going to open that one. I'm just gonna use the old instructions that I've got. I'll just bin that one. Um, so on here, it does give you the instructions of how to build the repair tech guy. So I'm just gonna get him underway and then I'll show you guys what he looks like. So he comes with a little robot, which you can see there. So I'm not sure if you've seen Wally -E or anything like that, but it kind of looks like Wally. -E. Also looks a bit like the camera in Toy Story as well. Um, but I think that's pretty cute. Got two um, dot pieces there with eyes. And then you obviously get the repair tech guy his, as well, the minifigure. Now with his hand, his hand uh, does come out. So he's got like a spanner in there. Um, now you get a couple of other tools so you can use the drill as you can see there so you can drill and then he's also got a hammer as well um, so I think that's pretty cool very customizable minifigure there which I think is awesome um, I'm going to put the spanner in and I'm going to put him on his stand I'm going to put the little repair guy with him as well so that's both there I will show you guys his head piece as well. So I think that is pretty awesome. The printed head piece. It's all around, so it's got on the front and the back. So I think that is gonna be one of my favorite minifigures of this series. So that's two down, let's pop him there. I'll put him with two of his spare pieces. And let's open up another set. So 
So this one looks like we've got the bird watcher. So on here it looks like she comes with a, a toucan as well. Not sure if there are any, oh there are some instructions for the bird watcher. So as you can see on there, you do get a bit of instructions on just how to build her. So it looks like she's got a like a bag, a knapsack bag. So let's pop that on. Now with the bird watcher, you do get two faces. So it's printed on the front and the back when the camera focuses. There we go. So it's on the front and the back. So she gets two faces. Um, and then she's also got a headpiece uh, with a cap on as well. So let's pop her on there. And there is the bird watcher. So of course you get a leaf piece with the toucan. So it's like a bit of a tree. And then you can see the uh, bird watcher's headpiece there with the printed um, front torso. And she's got a pair of binoculars so she can see the birds. So that's a pretty cool piece. If any of you are starting maybe um, a zoo or a park, maybe you could put um, this minifigure into the, the park. So let's pop her to one side. You get a spare binocular there, so let's just put that to one side. And let's move on to the next one. So this one is all in a bag on its own. And it looks like you've got a leaf piece. So I think this is the forest elf. So let's just open this little bag. And let's get building this guy. So this guy comes with um, two faces as well. So there's a face on the front and on the back when the camera focuses for you guys. So we've got the front there and then the back. He also comes with a green cloak. And then as you can see, he's got a little mushroom there with her face on, so I think that's pretty cute. And he also comes with a, a stick or a little staff, a walking stick. And he's got this um, like hazelnut shaped head, uh, the hat. So that's the forest elf, so that's pretty cool. So with some of these minifigures, obviously they have got um, not your typical Lego City figures. I don't think if you've got your own Lego City that you could use them, except maybe if you had some sort of maybe theme park, um, or if you had some shops or some stores that you could use them in, perhaps like food shops, maybe the, the chili person outside promoting the food. Um, let's move on to the next bag. So this looks like we've got the figure skating champion. So I do like this figure skating champion. Uh, he's got one printed face on there, so I'll show you guys in a second. Um, he's got a hair piece, let's pop that on. And there he is. So he obviously comes with a trophy because he is a champion. Uh, this minifigure also comes with the stand at the bottom for his feet, just because obviously he would be difficult to stand up with his roller blades his ice skating uh, blades and um, his hair piece is quite cool it goes quite high up and then I do like his printed torso as well it's printed on the back and the front so he's got a star on there um, and then on the back it's very um, very glittery so that's another one so that's number five and then you get a spare um, ice skate blade let's open the next one So we've got a horse there, which I think is pretty cool. We've got a farm, maybe. Um, so this is the horse and the groom. So the uh, groom comes with two face pieces there. So you get that face piece, and then that thing printed face on the back. Um, so let's just put his hat on and there he is so he comes with a carrot obviously to feed the horse it's got printed torso on the front and the back like checkered green I think it's cool looks like he's got a bit of a hippie hat there with long hair um, and then obviously the, the horse itself as well which I think is a, 
It's quite cool considering it's in a, a minifigure bag, you get an animal and a minifigure. So let's pop that up to one side and move on to the next one. Also got a tail there, so I think this might be the raccoon. Yep, so this is a raccoon costume fan, which I think is quite funny. I've seen a couple of posts with people using these rooting through lots of trash um, in their cities, which I thought was, was quite funny. Um, so let's pop them on. Um, so that's pretty awesome. It does come with a hairpiece. Um, obviously, if you want to take the hairpiece off, you can use the raccoon um, costume hat as well. So let's just finish this minifigure up. Forgot to put the tail in. And there we go. So there's the costume, the raccoon costume fam. So it comes with a, a rubbish bag, carrier bag there. And um, the tail piece on the back as well, which I think is a nice touch. Um, and then also it comes with a, a trash can. There we go, so that's another one down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got seven, and then we've also got the hair piece, obviously, for that raccoon. So I'll just pop that on top of the trash can. And then let's move across to the next one. So these minifigures were about £3.50 or £3.49. So um, when purchasing them, it cost about £42 for all these, um, which seems quite expensive, but um, obviously they are collectibles. Um, you do need to have them um, So let's pop that to one side. So on here it looks like we've got the snow guardian um, So that comes with its own little wolf or a husky dog So there's the snow guardian It's got a sword there and he's got like a neck piece as well can't put the dog on the stand because it, it doesn't hold on, it slips off a bit. Oh, there we go, actually. There we go. Um, and I do like his shield as well, it's got like a big snowflake on. I think that's pretty cool. So that's another one down. So let's move on to the next one. Um, so this is actually my first um, minifigure series, Lego minifigures that I've actually collected. So I did collect um, the Mario ones. Um, I've also collected the uh, Marvel minifigures that came out. So the, the ones with Wanda and Vision. Um, on here it looks like we've got the Chili Pepper person. So the costume Chili Fam. Um, so let's pop this on. So they also get a hair piece, which I think is pretty awesome. So I'll show you guys with the hair piece first, this minifigure, and then I'll take it off and show you with the, the actual chili headpiece. So she comes with um, a bottle of milk there and then obviously a printed top which is uh, fire obviously because the chilies are quite hot um, but there's the hairpiece for that character and then let's take that off pop that to one side and pop on the chili. So like I say if you are using uh, or building your own city and you want to incorporate some of these minifigures into your city I think this one would probably work well um, maybe at a food stand or food stall outside a shopping center um, there we go so that's another minifigure down so we've got three more to open so at least the guys at the lego store are correct at the moment they've obviously guessed all correctly and um, so this is another minifigure that we don't have yet um, so this is the space creature I was a bit intrigued as to how this one would look So I'm just going to show you guys the headpiece on that. So it looks like it's just a mouth on both sides, a big mouth and a smaller mouth. I think it's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't show you how to build it on the instructions. So let me just have a go at this from the image. So there we go. I've just used that off the image um, that I found online. Um, so there is the space creature, you know, he gets obviously his own blaster, looks like he's got this goo thing on the back, it's a headpiece there but a printed one, 
Not sure what that's printed on. It looks like um, an explosion of some kind. And then he's obviously got his hairpiece that clips on the top, which is the rest of his face, which I think is pretty cool. So you can take that one off, and that's his mouth. And then if you pop the hairpiece on, it's uh, his eyes there. So that's another minifigure down. So we've got two more to go. So far so good at the Lego store. So this minifigure is quite cool, it's quite colourful. And this is the Night Protector. Um, so he's got two face pieces on there, so printed on the back and the front. So there's one. And there's the second. And we'll pop her hair piece on. And there is the Night Protector. So I do like the hair piece, I think it's a quite a cool colour like teal and then we've got a shield there so it's got a moon shape on the shield and she's got like a pink and purple sword and she's the night protector and then you obviously get a spare sword with that one so let's just pop that in the spares and then we're on to our last one so let's move that to one side that to one side so the last one is the wheelchair racer so we did manage to get all 12 thank you to the guys at the Lego store for making sure that they picked out the correct ones and felt the correct bags so let's get this one built for you guys and we'll show you what we've got here and there we go so he's got a, a medal there, you get three wheels with the wheelchair. Um, he's got one printed face on the front, so there's no printed face on the back, but he does come with a, a helmet, like a bike helmet, which I think is awesome, a racer's helmet. So let's pop that back on. And then he's got sport written on the back of his t-shirt. So that's the series 22 minifigures all collected. I'm either going to incorporate them into my city um, or I'm going to get a frame and just put them on display. I'm not really decided yet. Obviously 2022 has been a big year for Lego already. The Titanic came out last year but it's only just come in stock again and we did manage to get our hands on one as you can see at the back. Uh, we've purchased a couple of other Lego sets since then and since September, October last year, my city has grown uh, dramatically. So throughout the rest of this year, we've got some huge plans coming up. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe in order to stay up to date with all my latest videos. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.